Today we're cooking up udon noodle broth and vegetable tempura. This is internet sensation chef Ben Ebers Ebrel, and he has been to Japan. But can he recreate this dish with genuine authenticity? Let's find out. The first thing we're going to concentrate on is the broth. And it's a few very simple ingredients, but together it tastes incredible. So we're going to begin with kombu. You want a couple of pieces about this size and you want to soak it in cold water, either overnight or for about six, seven, eight hours. And what you end up with is that it unravels, it rehydrates. And with a couple of pieces in the water that size, that can go onto the hob and we'll heat it up to a boil. And if you put a lid on, it will come up to the boil much quicker, but don't actually let it boil. Let's talk umami. Uh, yes, so it's this one. It is a taste. The fifth. Uh, it's the fifth taste. It was discovered in the 1980s. It's all about flavours given off from amino acids, stuff like that. It's very sciencey, but it's very interesting. And we've written a blog about it on sortafood.com, so go and check that out. Kombu is full of them, as are mushrooms and steak and fermented things. And it's another one of these flavours we're going to put into our broth mm. next. Bonito flakes. Fishy. Super fishy. They are dried flakes that are so thin of tuna. So just before this comes up to boil, fish out the kombu. You don't actually want it to boil. Then add in the bonito flakes and leave it to steep as you would a cup of tea for 10 minutes. Whilst our broth steeps, we can make tempura batter and that's what was served when I had the best udon broth with udon noodles. It was incredible. A couple of tips. If you're making tempura, stir it with chopsticks. Because actually if you whisk it, you stretch too much of the gluten, it becomes more chewy and less crispy. Okay. And we're going pretty much 50-50, corn flour and plain flour, plus sparkling water. All the weights and measurements you can get on sorted food, but basically it's those two, seasoned with salt and pepper, and then just enough cold, ice cold sparkling water until you end up with the batter. And do this by eye. Okay, by eye. eye. How precious are you about lumps? Uh, so there's a couple of big lumps in there. That's ice cubes. That's just going to keep it cool. Lol. But the lumps of flour, don't worry. A few little lumps is not the end of the world. Okay. So what we are going to do though is chop up some veg to go with it. So courgette, if you just slice those into discs, I'm going to do the same sort of thing with sweet potato, but keep it a little bit thinner because it will take longer to cook. Shiitake mushrooms, we don't need to do anything with. They'll just go straight into the batter. What was the best thing that you ate? Or at least give me a top three. Best meal experiences. Yeah. Sushi in Kyoto. Yep. Haida beef in the north of Japan yep. and ok uh, okonomiyaki in Hiroshima because they were social kind of food. Best things I ate, raw prawn, sashimi oh, prawn, which wow. I didn't think I'd like, but it was creamy, it was milky, it was absolutely delicious. And sea urchin, again raw, but that was incredible. Wow. So the consistency you're looking for in the batter is something that when you put the veg in, lift it up, it will just about coat the vegetable, okay? And then it needs to go into clean hot oil, 180 degrees Celsius. The sweet potato will take two or three minutes, the shiitake mushrooms and the courgette a little bit less. You're looking for a golden crisp colour but so the veggies cook through. Now we can move back to our broth. So lift off the lid, awesome right. steaminess, and basically you're going to pour all of that into another saucepan that you've just lined with muslin cloth. And that's going to drain out all of the bonito flakes and the stock goes through. And then what you can do is gather up the cloth, which has a very, very fine mesh. And basically, as you do that, all the flakes come out and you're left with this beautiful, clear broth. To finish it off, we season it very, very simply. We go in with two tablespoons of soy, two tablespoons of mirin, and two tablespoons of sake. So really simple. Season it up with about half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Why white pepper? Just because you want to keep it really clear and the ground white pepper will pretty much dissolve in here. Cracked black pepper, you'll, you'll see bits. the flex. Final thing to do, we've got some udon noodles. This wouldn't be an udon noodle broth without udon noodles. These are wheat noodles that are quite thick. You've got a kettle down there, just literally pour it over. These oh. are already cooked. You can warm them up in the broth, but because they're wheat, they might give some of that kind of starchiness to a very clean broth. Yeah, you don't want it murky, do you? And we're going to garnish this so simply, just the way it was when I had it. Spring onions on top, no more than that. So first up, noodles in the bowl, and then top it right up with that broth. Now when I had this as street food, the tempura was just piled on top. Personally, this is where we're going to break all the rules in the book. The great thing about tempura for me is how crispy it is. So we're going to serve some tempura on the side. We need some sort of inflammatory 
subject matter. So Ben's purposely breaking the rules just to get you lot really well. Well, this is our attempt at recreating something I tried many times in Japan. We want you guys to tell us because you probably know a lot better than we do. Definitely. So there we go. Udon noodle broth and tempura veg. Sorted. Sorted. I feel like since we're sharing a bowl, we'll go with spoon, but normally it would be just a chopstick and slurp job. Let's keep our slurps to ourselves. It's subtle, but it's got oh, it's everything really subtle, there. But it, it's so clean. Believe it or not, I'm not a Japanese national, but this is delicious and I think you've done a really quality job, mate. Well done. Thank you. You should give it a go and tell us what you think.